Michael Rothenstein was born in 1908 into a family well connected in the art world. His father was Sir William Rothenstein, artist and art historian. His brother John became director of the Tate Gallery and his uncle Albert Rutherston taught at the Slade. During the Second World War, he contributed to the Recording Britain scheme, but he is best known for his revolutionary approach to printmaking and was the most inventive of the Bardfield artists. He pioneered the use of found objects and scoured rubbish dumps for objects that might be coated with ink to produce interesting textures. Rothenstein taught for many years at Camberwell School of Art and Hornsey College of Art. The Fry Art Gallery has the UK's widest collection of work by Michael Rothenstein. There is a primitive feel to this work, in which the elements are flattened out into almost pure geometric forms, with the circles of the tractor forming a central motif. The areas of colour are softer and more delicate in this painting than in much of Rothenstein's other work. The diagonal element of the road also occurs in many of his other works shown here. It is sometimes the only element which gives a sense of perspective, connecting an implied foreground with the distance. Rothenstein and Edward Borden lived nearby to each other, but were not particularly close. However, the antiquated feel of the steam tractor and the minimalist but jaunty figure might be seen here as reflecting something of Borden's sensibility with people and objects. Although undated, the head of this figure is very similar to a number of prints that the artist was producing around 1948-50, to 50, after his wartime role in the Recording Britain project. The forceful images of the figure and bird are placed against an intense sky, with buildings suggesting Great Bardfield in the background, a strong influence of contemporary European art can be seen in this painting, where it is difficult to ignore echoes of Picasso and Guernica in the upturned head, the open beak with tongue, and the halo around the source of light. Rothenstein became a skilled and innovative printmaker, but also worked in watercolour throughout his career. The landscape here looks recognisably like Essex, where he settled from 1941. He used the device of placing everyday objects in the foreground against a landscape in other works, situating still life arrangements against the outdoors. Here the spherical and cylindrical forms have something of a surreal feel, even echoing Paul Nash's objects in landscapes. The detail and quirkiness of the clock, however, has more than a hint of Edward Borden's fascination with slightly outdated domestic decoration.